Assalamu alaikum. Hello, boys. Hello, Abdullah. Hello, Zaid. How are you? Let's start our social lesson. Today, we will talk about the traffic officer. The traffic officer. Okay, let's see what we have today. By the end of our lesson today, we will be aware of the value of the traffic officers in our lives. We will also be aware of the role of the traffic officers on the street, and we will acquire positive attitudes towards traffic officers. And these are the objectives of our lesson today, and it's really important. Okay. If you look at this picture, what will you find? You will find a car. Inside the car, a mother and her daughter. The, the daughter said, mother, who is that man over there? She is asking about that man with the whistle. The mother said, he is the traffic officer. The girl said, do you mean a policeman? Okay. Let's just stop here and look at this picture and let's see the difference between the traffic officer and the police officer. Actually, boy, the police officer is the one who catches thieves or who arrest criminals and put them in jail. But the traffic officer is the one who controls the traffic in order to avoid accidents. So if I ask you, who is the traffic officer? He is the one who controls the traffic in order to avoid accidents. The girl asked her mother, aren't the traffic lights enough? Of course, my dear students, you know the traffic lights. We have the red light, which means to stop. The yellow light means to be ready. The green light means to go. And they are not enough. Unfortunately, they are not enough in order to control the traffic. We need somebody why to control and monitor the traffic because some people never follow the rules, the traffic rules. So he is a great man. The traffic officer is a great man and he is a really helpful man and we must respect him. As you see the traffic lights, can you see the traffic lights? We have the red light, which means stop, stop the car. We have the yellow, the yellow light, which means to wait or to be ready. We have the green light, which means to go and move, okay? Now let's move to the traffic officer's rule. As we said, the traffic officer is the one who controls the traffic lights. The traffic officer also helps all the people cross the street. He's really great. The traffic officer gives fines to mistaken drivers. Dear students, I wanna tell you that there are some drivers who are not careful while driving their cars. So they drive fast or do something wrong. So the traffic officer gives them fines. Also the traffic officer uses a whistle to control the traffic and he uses the whistle sometimes. I'm sure that you saw his whistle. The traffic officer directs the flow of course. Also the traffic officer helps younger children cross the street. The traffic officer makes people aware of the traffic rules, which is really important. We also have to know the traffic rules. The traffic officer calls the ambulance when accidents happen. Yes, if there is any accident on the street, he calls the ambulance in order to come and help and take the injured people to the hospital. So he's really important man and it's a really important and a great job. Now let's start our exercise. I will unmute you and you will answer me. Okay boys, prepare yourself, you will answer me, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. 
great. Now, we will write here what each color means in the following traffic lights. You will write in your book after me. Here in this picture, we have the traffic lights. The color. What does red color mean? Answer me what red color means. Can you hear me, boys? Abdullah, can you? Yeah. The red yeah, yeah. color means to stop. Right? So please write here stop. The red color or the red light means to stop. Write the word stop. Listen, five, dear. Listen, five. Okay, now, the light. The light means to wait, to wait, or to be waiting. Yes, dear. The yellow color or the yellow light means to wait or to be ready. Right, Omar? Did you write it? No. Please write it. The green light means to Right. So, the red light means to stop. The yellow light means to wait. The green light is to stop. Please write. I will turn to the page. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, turn to the beat. Turn to the beat. Exercise number two, we will write to rule and correct the fault once. Number one, we must not follow the traffic rules. rules. False. False. Please write false and write the correct answer. We must follow the rules. We must follow the rules. Right there. Yeah. That is. Yeah. Did you write the answer, Fadis? Yes. Great. Okay, number two. There are four colors on the traffic lights. Four colors? Mm, no. How many colors we have? Three. Three. So the right answer is there are three colors of lights. Three colors. There are three colors on traffic lights. Teacher, I don't have a space. You don't have a space? It's yeah. okay. It's okay, dear. Just write three colors. Right on the next line, three colors. It changes what? three colors into three colors. Number three. Traffic officers make the street safe. Yeah. Yes, great. It's right. This is true. Number four. A red 
traffic light means to go. The red, the red light means to go. No. No. What does it mean? It means to stop. Stop. It means to stop. So the red traffic light means stop. Right. The word is stop. Okay, number five. Traffic lights are enough on the street, enough, or they are not enough, enough, or not. Mm. What do you think? What did we say? We said they are not enough. We need somebody to control the traffic, right? So it's wrong. Oh, traffic lights are not enough. What is the Did you finish this bit? Did you no, no. Okay, did you finish it? Please turn it away. Exercise number three. We will match the pictures on the right with their description. You will look at the picture and you will match it with the correct sentence. Number one. The traffic officer sometimes uses a whistle to control the traffic. Now look at the picture and tell me which picture. The big man. The big man with the whistle? No, before the last one. Before the last one, yes, that is correct. Match it, please. The traffic officer sometimes he uses a whistle to control the traffic. I will match the sentence. The man with the whistle. Yes. Yes. Okay, number two. The traffic officer stops cars too. Let us school the students back the street. Which picture? The, the Google is picture number one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Number four. Number four. Great, great. Number three was a traffic officer stops and give a line to bad drivers. Bad drivers. Which the second one? The second one, yes, great. Where are you, Zaid and Abdullah? Can you back? Traffic officer stop and give a fine to a bad drivers. The second picture. Number two. The traffic officers are there. They are in question. Which picture? 
What? The traffic officers are there if there are any accidents. No, the last one. The last one. The picture with the accident. Finish. The last sentence, the traffic of help all the people cross the street. Which picture? The third one. The third one. Great. Now we are finished, dear students. Did you like our lesson today? Did you like that traffic? Yes. Would you think he'd be the really important person? The next lesson we will take the world. He's a really important person and it's a really important job, right? Yeah. He is helpful. He is really important. And we should know the traffic rules. Please, boys. We must learn the traffic rules. Okay. Teacher. Yes, first. When I was young, my father always crashed. Really? So we must yeah. the traffic rules in order to stay safe and not to crash or make any accidents, right? Yeah. Yes, and we should be careful not to be a bad driver. We have to drive carefully. Okay, boys, thanks a lot for your listening. That's all for today. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye, teacher.